Hello guys, and welcome back to this really, really short tutorial. So what I'm going to talk about today is how I like to set up my, um, my project and, and what I do before I even start modeling in SketchUp. And what we're going to look at today is when setting up a file to make a boat. So as a product designer, I usually tend to use my iPad and um, Procreate. And I just uh, try to find out like what kind of uh, boat I want to make. And I start looking up on Pinterest and uh, Google to find some inspiration. And um, yeah, from there, I just go into Procreate and start sketching until I get something that I'm, um, that I'm happy with. And um, yeah, so after that, I export the PNG file from Procreate and to myself by email. Um, and what I do from there is to create a new folder for my project. So in this case, I tend to call my boat Franco. <clears throat> so this is a 75 foot uh, flybridge uh, yacht. So I'm going to have a look at right now. So this is what I sketched out in Procreate. Um, and yeah, this is what I'm going to model in SketchUp. Um, I will make another tutorial, uh, time lapse speed build on that one. Um, but this is just to, to get you guys going and uh, to, um, to know what to do beforehand. Um, so yeah, now we got our project folder and I like to even make some subfolders in here. So we got the blueprint, which is the image file. Uh, of course, if you if you like to to make a front view and back view, you can do that do that as well. But um, I usually just use the side view um, because yeah. Um, after after a long experience with uh, with SketchUp, I um, I tend to make some changes um, during the modeling. So yeah, one reference image is is more than enough. Um, and I guess you will you will see that in, in the upcoming videos uh, when I start modeling this thing. So we got the blueprint folder, and we will make a uh, project file folder and this is to get like the whole project in one folder and not having the project file in the documents uh, default folder on your computer and you have the reference images uh, in downloads from the email and you yeah, have like all the files spread out that's not uh, what we want here we want everything in one folder um, to have it like organized and what you also can do is if you have some inspiration I usually have but for this one um, I've drawn a lot of boats so for this one I, I didn't uh, have any inspiration I just uh, took it out of my head um, so yeah now we got that and we will move the image file into the blueprint folder and when in SketchUp, I usually start by saving the file. So we call it the same as the project folder. And you can see here, I don't have these files very organized. This is just, yeah. Um, so desktop, any file, you find your uh, project folder and you save it into the project file subfolder that we made. From here, I <clears throat> on beforehand uh, determined the length of the boat. 
So if you're not familiar with the meters and feet and uh, yeah, both dimensions, you can uh, go into uh, a website and uh, convert like meters to feet and feet to meters to to get it right. But um, 75 foot is uh, probably 20, 20 meters, 20.5 meters. So I set up the length to 20.5 meters. So I got a guideline on how big it's gonna be. And then I import my, um, my reference image. I can just find it. Jesus. There we are. Blueprint. And we import this into our sketchup file. Scale it up. And I like to have like the waterline of the boat um, hitting this axis. So yeah, you can, as you can see, the, the bow is um, a bit short, so do not start to stretch in one end because that will uh, sort of disturb the dimensions of the boat that you made up beforehand. So we just scale it up and usually we can cut off the swimming platform as the main length of the boat. So we can scale it up a bit more. And yeah, there we are. <clears throat> and as a comparison, you can have this, uh, this person and you can start like uh, looking on the height of the freeboard of the boat. Is it high enough? If it's not, as in this case, I think it's a bit low to be 75 feet. So I'll just raise it, drag it down to the water line. And yeah, it starts to look I think we will have to scale it up a bit more. Sorry. There we go. Yeah, so here we are. Um, I think that's good. It could probably be like um, a bit higher uh, with the fly bridge and all. Um, because as you can see, uh, under his feet, the floor is going to, to, uh, to be, and you will also make sure that you have enough room for his head in the master cabin below. So in this case, you have plenty of room. Yeah. So I think this is great. Yeah, so that's uh, pretty much a quick tutorial on uh, how to set up your uh, project file and yeah, prepare everything before you start modeling in SketchUp. Thanks guys.